Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another CreateTap tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at saving images for web out of Photoshop. I haven't done a Photoshop tutorial in a while, so I thought I'd start with this one. Now, inside of here, I've just got some color adjustments on top of this simple image, so I, I haven't done a lot, but I just want to show you. So, what I do when I, what, what's good practice when you work in Photoshop is to save a layered version and a uh, version for web if that's what you intend to. So a layered version is just a Photoshop file where you can come back, open it back up and you can modify each of these kind of um, adjustments, okay? So that would be simply go in File, Save As and then go into PSD and then Turbines. Let's go V1, okay? And that'll save a Photoshop file and click OK. Now, if you want to save for web, um, internet browsers work in the sRGB color space um, and that's that's a kind of limited amount of colors so all you, all you need to do, I'll talk you through the process now, is go to file and it may be, depending on what version you're using um, I'm using CC 2017 and you have to go to file, export and here it is, save for web legacy um, <clears throat> if you're using an earlier version it may say save for web or it may say save for web and devices Okay. Now the reason they've made this legacy is um, basically something to do with they they don't they're not doing any further improvements to it, so it's always going to be in here. And they brought in this new thing called um, Adobe Generate, which I'll be doing a tutorial in in the next couple of days anyway. Um, but I still I'm a massive user of this Save for Web, and I'm going to be using this all the time. And they're not going to be getting rid of it. They're just it's only they've only called it Legacy because they're not going to be making any further adjustments to it. And they want to bring in their new Adobe Generate, but this honestly I I much prefer using this anyway. So, um, I'm going to bring this out to fit on, no, fit, not fit on screen, sorry. But actually, yeah, let's fit on screen. But I'm just going to fit in view, and there you go, it's fitting in view. Now, this is my image, okay? And you've got, first of all, some presets up here. If you're doing an animated GIF or GIF, whatever it's called, um, then you've got that. Um, if you've got JPEG, then I'll go with JPEG 90% of the time and you've also got PNGs. If you've got transparency in there you'll use PNGs and I've never used WBMP. Don't even know what that is. Um, I think it's web bitmap but um, <laughs> yeah anyway. So GIF is if you've got an animated GIF or GIF whatever you want to call it. You can argue about that in the comments if you want. Um, but then JPEG I use and if you look at the top corner by here you can see the difference in the quality there but um, Anyway, let's go for JPEG. Now, what a lot of people tend to do is they think, oh, right, okay, I'm going to chuck the quality all the way up to 100. Now, quality is at 100, and originally it was on 60, and I cannot see a difference for the life of me between a quality of a 100 and quality of 60. There is a little jump there when I typed in, first of all, 6. You know, obviously there's a big difference there. If I typed in a quality of 1, you can see there's a, you know, quite a bit of banding, especially by here. But if I go 60... It's, it's, it, it looks really nice, you know, good detail in there. If I bring this up to 100, honestly, there was no change, and I can't see any change. But if you look at the file size down here, 56.6 kilobytes, um, and then if I take this back down to 60, so remember that, at 100, a quality of 100, it's um, 2.1 meg. If I take this down to 60, it's 370 kilobytes. 0.6 kilobytes okay this is the speed at which it would load um, based on your internet connection but no one has an internet connection of 56.6 kilobytes these days um, no one's no one's working on that kind of modem anymore but anyway um, this is the file size at 60 of a quality of 60 percent 370 kilobytes you take that up to 100 there's no increase in quality that I can see and it's already like massive so anyway I'll normally stick with either 50 or 60 let's just go with 60 okay so the quality is 60 so you know what I'm gonna have a look at 50 as well and I can't I can't see any difference there I'm gonna go with 50 um, let's just check 50 60 yeah I can't see any difference it flicks for a second when I type in the 6 because it shows me what it's like on 6 but between 50 and 60 there is no difference there so let's just go back 60 there we go. Right, now, next is image size. This image size is 2,610 pixels across, 1,618 down. There is no way that 
you need it that size for web it's not going to be displayed that size okay so i'm going to go first of all you've got if, if you don't know what dimen if you know what dimensions the website will be using you can type them in you can google it whatever website you're going to put it in what's the best dimensions for that website but i'm just going to go use this percentage now so right right now 370 kilobytes if i go 50 percent of the size that's 1305 by 809 pixels and then it's just going to lower the file size again, you know, and we don't actually need it that big. So that's now 126.9 kilobytes, okay? And again, images you see on the web, it wouldn't have been, so let's put this back up to 100, it wouldn't display it at 2610 across, it, it just wouldn't. So I'm going to go, maybe I'll go for about 60% of this size, so 1566 by 971, okay? Um, and let's just fit this again fit in view and there you go no real loss of quality um, and we've got very low file size and that'll load really quickly if you have images which are big file size so if we put this up to 100 for quality and back up to 100 for percent wise if you have this on a website it will take a long time to load okay and you're not losing any quality by putting this down to let's say 50% of the size and 60% of the quality you're really not losing any quality at all, none that the naked eye can see, but it's going to load a hell of a lot quicker, okay? And it's really weird, they've based this off a very, very, very low modem speed, so they should, you know, by default have it higher, because no one has an internet speed of that anymore. But anyway, um, all I'm going to do now is we've looked at altering the image size, we've looked at the quality, and I'm going to bring this down again to 50, like so. Um, and then I'm going to click Save. Okay, and I'll save this to my desktop, so turbines v1 underscore web, so I know that this image is for the web, this JPEG, so click save. Okay, so if, if we go to my desktop, you can see that I have um, turbines v1, okay, and that's a layered Photoshop file, uh, so I can go in and edit it, and then we've got this JPEG, let's open that, and the quality is, is still there, okay. Um, so... Yeah, that's how you save out of web for Photoshop. So I hope that helped and cleared a few things up, cleared a couple of the settings up which you need to use. Uh, any questions, drop them in the comments below. Give it a like, give it a subscribe, give it a share, do your thing. Um, cheers, and I'll see you in the next Photoshop tutorial where I'll be looking at the new Gen Adobe Generate options. Cheers.